Hello everyone, we're back on the um, making of the film Lonely Stick of Dynamite. We've completed a lot of the set pieces for one of our main sets, which is the minecart chase. Uh, and now we're going to be doing some painting on those set pieces. So for reference, we looked at um, some Mobius Blueberry uh, graphic novels for some colours for the rocks. And we come up with a couple of test pieces. Uh, this one's got three variations of a more darker rock. This one's like a darker one with more red in it, but then that's got more faded red. But uh, it wasn't what we were actually looking for. So we came up with the colours from the Mobius books. Some nice warm reds, pinks and yellows for a nice sandstone effect. Uh, we're quite happy with this one, so this is one we're going with. So we went into Wilco's and we got some tester pots just to see what colour palette we were going to use. Once we settled on a base colour, which was this one, we went and bought a hefty one because there's a lot of set bits to be built. Sometimes you can just buy cheaper paints, don't have to be expensive, just buy them where you can, whatever colour suits your needs. Some cheap brushes, just Pound Shop or Wilco, and some water because we're going to put them down as washes so that the colour doesn't um, be too overpowering. Okay, as this is an emulsion, we can mix it with some water. And say we want to build up colour using washes, they're easier to blend in and dries quicker when it soaks into the plaster of Paris as well. And all you do, for the base colour, just paint it on rough and ready. Just get the colour on there and on the wall, people's trousers. Doesn't matter how many coats of this you put on either because it's watered down, it will remain thin on there. If there are any gaps, you can always thicken it up a bit where you've got bits that still show through. Just cover the whole thing with your base color. Okay, so we're going to start putting some washes on. It doesn't matter if the paint's a little bit wet because that will help the colours blend in. And what we're looking for is a more stylized type of rock here, very sandstony. Where the plaster of Paris has left these ridges, that looks like strata in the rock. And we can use the colour palette to enhance those. Okay, so I've mixed up some washes of a red and a burnt sienna and I've got a warm orange colour as well. They're the colours we're going to be using on this. And with a smaller brush, just dab some on. And then what we do is get some of the original wash, go over it and blend the colour in. And that way you get the impression of an orange underneath or a red or a brown or whatever and it doesn't disrupt too much from the main colour. Don't think about where to put the lines too much, you know, it is a natural thing. And if you start to overthink it, it becomes too mechanical and too unnatural. Put a bit of red in now. With these washes, it's mostly water. Apart from the base coat, which is about a three to one mix, this is more five to one water to paint. So when you put it on, you're only getting a hint of color. With the darker wash, it's harder to blend in, so you may have to go over with the original color again. But again, you can just go where these natural ridges are. You don't have to go too heavy. And again, blend in. And it just enhances those lines a bit. If you go too strong, a little bit of the original wash and over the top. And there you go. Right, so this is very stylized, as I've said, um, more a case of blending colors and giving a, a warm feeling rather than a hard rock feeling, which is why I've left off 
um, what you would normally do is put a very dark wash over it but because the lighting that we're going to be using will be creating shadows from the shapes there's no need for it and we've marked all the bits on the back this one's the drop off so that we know where they go on the actual set so there's a finished piece of set move on to the next one mm -hmm. 